Hey guys, what's up? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, we're not doing Call of Duty today, we're actually doing Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a mobile game, it can be downloaded on iOS and Android. Um, I've been playing Clash Royale now for a couple of months. Um, so today I'm going to be showing you my Lava Hound and Clone Rush deck. So it can be, um, it's amazing, it's, it is amazing, it can be uh, used quite well, but it can be defended so but when it works it works so let's get straight into it let's show you the uh, the deck that i'm using right now it is an average elixir deck of 4.1 so we've got the uh, goblin barrel the clone fireball skeleton army we've also got the dragon executioner night witch and of course the lava hound okay so let's get straight into it then shall we we'll go and watch some of the previous ones we've been in Okay, we'll start right here. Uh, we'll watch this one right here. This was um, against Abdo of the Asthma Clan. So starting this off right now, we're just um, we're just getting up the ten elixir basically. You know, there's, there's no there's no need to play anything if he's not played anything. So you know, we can we can just chill. We can just wait. So at ten elixir, we put down our dragon, and he puts down his witch. So we're gonna use the execution and use the dragon as a tank here. He uh, he plays his min his uh, hog hog rider. That's the one. Yep. So our executioner takes it out, and while our dragon's still tanking, our executioner is getting some damage done. So he plays his uh, executioner. It's only level eight, so I always manage to take that out. We get a, a golden barrel in there and clone it. So right now we're doing some damage. That fireball it wasn't necessary, but you know still got the job done. So right now, he sends us a well played, so, you know, we send him a thanks. Right now, I've taken a big lead here. One of his towers, or his right hand tower, has only 500 health, and mine have barely been scratched. So he placed down a uh, skeleton, so we defend that by playing a skeleton army. Obviously, the best thing to put behind a skeleton would be a witch, would be a wizard, you know, something that can take out bolt troops. Um, so he does do well there, and we use our Night Witch here to take out her Witch, just as our tower targets it. Unfortunately, she clones a Witch, which is a decent move, but it didn't really get much tower damage there. So Right now, we're going to do the same as the beginning. We're going to use the Executioner as the tank, and we're going to Goblin Barrel, which is going to finish off that tower on the right-hand side. We're going to let his... Uh, we're going to put a, a skeleton army down just to stop that lumberjack getting too much damage. And obviously we want to keep their minions out of that rage spell because they do some a lot of damage. So the rage is gone. It does a good rush here. We tried to use the dragon here just to, you know, make the uh, minions aggressive towards it. But unfortunately we only got one. So he did get a lot of damage down. So right now we were just preparing to uh, put a, like a, a rush on the right hand side. We are using the um, the Hound just to, you know, do most of the tanking. So there we go. We do end up just ignoring the bottom right hand tower thinking if we give him that we could possibly get the 3 tower win. So again we use the Skeleton Army here to defend the, uh, the Skeleton. There we go. He manages to get an uh, Executioner in there but I've already taken him down. So right now, there we go, we put on the Hound and put the Dragon behind it to do some damage. So anything like scale and stuff like that will wipe it out from the Witch. So we just leave the tower on the right hand side and now we just go for this main tower rush. Here we go, we've got the, uh, the, the Goblin Barrel and the Hound when it pops, we've got the Lava Pups and we clone it. So right now we're just sitting back watching the damage just happen. There we go with a Fireball. A I underestimated the damage there, you know, I thought it was gonna, I thought it was gonna finish it off, so. Right now, we're just defending again, we're just cycling around to that fireball. But we do manage to get him with the Goblin Barrel, so we don't need to, and there we go, that's a nice three, three tower win. He sends us the well played. Well played to yourself. Right, moving on to the second one of today. This is another three tower win, let's watch this one. As I said, it can work, and sometimes it can go sour real quick. As you will see in the final one, you know, I'm not just going to show you all my wins on this. I, I do I do lose. 
So again, we get into our turn elixir, and you know, we we'll just play it right at the back of the tower. You know, just so we we've got a bit of walking room. You know, we can build up some more elixir by the time it gets to the bridge. So now we're going to use our lava hound over here just to do uh, most of the tanking. Unfortunately, this pecker just comes running and just destroys our executioner. You know. There's nothing we can do right now. We're just letting our elixir build up just so we can defend properly. We don't want to waste anything. So right now I'm going to put a dragon out just to take some of the tanking while our tower was meant to do the attack in there with the dragon. But unfortunately we put the dragon too far forward. We should have put the dragon a little bit further back there. So right now we're going to go for the, the, the witch, the night witch and the barrel with a clone. Unfortunately he puts out a skarmy which just you know, gets rid of all my clone. Wasn't very effective there, you know. It could have been good if it didn't have a Skarmy, but things like that happen. So he, as he plays his tank, um, we're going to have to place ours on the other side just to avoid, you know, we're, we're going to have to avoid him building up troops behind that because we hadn't really got much defense. As I said, this is a Russian deck. So we, we tried to play the tank on the left side, so he tries to counter me. Uh, unfortunately, he doesn't place in a wizard behind it, which is probably one of the best moves for him to do. I should have just taken out the wizard with the fireball. I don't know why I didn't do that, but he gets a lot of damage down on the uh, the tower, and he ends up taking our tower. So on the left side, I place my dragon with the hound, and the lava pups unleash hell. I throw in a little gun barrel there just to you know guarantee it. So I got that left tower while he had my right tower. So now we're equal. I've got a little bit of damage on the right hand side tower. You know, not too much. I play my Night Witch here just so the bats can get some damage. And then I use my Skarmy just to stop him from hitting my Night Witch. Obviously he's going to try and go for my other tower now. because Just because, you know. So I place my Executioner now just to, you know, get some damage down on him while he's got nothing behind him. And up there we've got my Night Witch and my Dragon which get cloned, take that tower. Now we throw in a Golden Barrel, Skarmy. Skarmy there it actually takes the P.E.K.K.A from coming towards my tower and my Executioner. And the build up of troops just manages to take that tower, making that a 3 tower win. So good game tatties from Real Squad. Right, in this next video I'm going to show you, the next clip is actually one where it goes sour. So, let's have a watch. I make some mistakes in this one, you know, little mistakes can cost you the game. So, right now, all we're doing, we're, is, we're just waiting for this 10 elixir, you know. He's not played anything, I'm not playing anything. This guy, he's level 11 though, so he is a level higher than me. I accidentally played the uh, Executioner on the wrong side there. I should have played it on the left, but, you know, it is what it is. He uses his dragon here to do the tanking and his balloon just gets in there with the rage spell and manages to hit my tower. It's a thousand damage instantly so he manages to do a lot of tower damage and the bomb at the end takes my tower so fair play to him that was well played. My deck isn't you know fit to deal with that. My, my deck's good for rushing, cloning and that's pretty much it. So right now he plays his minion horde. I haven't really got anything to defend against that, so I'm just going to let him take it. I'm going to end up using my um, my hound here to try and do some tanking. Unfortunately, two minions actually get onto my tower, and they just, you know, they do some damage real good. So right now we're going to play the executioner behind the hound just to get some damage to take this dragon out. There we go. So right now we're going to try and clone the, the clone the, um, the the lava hound, get the pups doing some of the damage. If you're lo watching the uh, tower we're getting ticked down, there we go, we're getting some nice damage done. Not as much as we wanted though, we wanted the tower. This does a lot of charge damage, I managed just to kill it before it takes our tower. Right now we're going to be doing a dragon barrel rush, hopefully we get some damage done. There we go, we managed to get one tower. It's even. Ish. No, I'm just kidding. He's uh, going to take this tower here. We're going to fireball this. And he's going to play something behind because we have no spells or elixir to defend this. There we go. That's a, that's a tower lost. You know, I made some mistakes in this. So, it is what it is. So, right now, I'm just trying to do anything to defend. You know, 
he places a, a skeleton here. And, uh, you know, I need to get some troops out to stop this. There we go. My bats are taking out that very quickly. So right now, we're going to try and throw the barrel over and get a big clone. Unfortunately, we only cloned one goblin, which, you know, didn't go down too well. So again, right now, all we need to do is defend. And unfortunately, I don't have anything for the air, you know. All I have is my uh, executioner, but he's got two ground troops that are strong enough to take it out. So right now, my only option is to try and get their second tower. And, you know, not lose as badly. But, you know, he gets a free tower and... It happens sometimes, so so that was it. So that's Clash Royale for you. That was my um, my Hound Russian deck. So that's it for today's video. Um, if you liked what you see, leave me a like. You know, leave me a comment. Um, I do respond to comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know all the biz. Uh, I'll be seeing you in the next video, which will be probably tomorrow. So good night.